the last few weeks, two weeks, three weeks to go, what should I do? How do, how do I revise quant? And so, obviously, one part of revision is very clearly remembering the formula, remembering the funda. And so, if you're revising speed time distance, I would say, look, kilometers per hour to meters per second, understanding units. Uh, then we talk about relative speed. Then we talk about boats and streams. Then comparing two contexts when, when two people are going in the same direction. Then we go to races, circular races. And, and then the, both people come to the same point and then they go further away to the other point. What are these different types of questions? What are the formula in each of them? And then writing them all down, consolidating. That is fine. But I would not stop with that. And a lot of time for me revising a topic is about taking a set of ideas and making that fresher. Planting a hook in the head that says uh, frame equations in this form. Don't fall into that trap. Somewhere you have to say that. And the topic that really, really gets me going uh, for this kind of school of thought is for geometry. So every time I have realized that lots of times I, 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 I missed a bunch of questions because my brain was not tuned to thinking similarity. Now, anytime there are two tri a triangle and a line parallel somewhere in between, I tell myself, look, similarity could come into play here. Think about that. So every time an angle is bisected, one bell will ring in my head saying, is there angle bisector theorem that comes into this place? The moment I draw, I see a tangent, I say, okay, tangent perpendicular to radius, that I'll anywhere remember. Tangent from a point are equal in length, that I'll anywhere remember. These two are automatic, but the two things I forget, tangent secant theorem, alternate segment theorem. So you'll have to say, hey, these are the things I need to keep in mind. For algebra, the moment I see an x plus 1 by x, I know I can find x square plus 1 by x square, x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4, x minus 1 by x, all of them. So each of these things, I have to say, look, I see that, that those bells should go in my head. So I think x plus 1 by x is either greater than or equal to 2 or less than or equal to minus 2. This is a bunch of things that I need to remember. So uh, revision is not just about knowing a bunch of formulae. It's about planting hooks in your head to say, okay, this is what I typically tend to forget. This type of template, my brain should go towards this toolkit. Very often you have a bunch of uh, tools available. And questions come, and then we are going to pick this and this and plug it into that thing and then figure it out. Sometimes, very often, you will do a question in a mock, not get the answer and then see the solution and it seems the most bleeding obvious thing. The question was not easy to begin with. The tough part is not taking this toolkit and applying it, that's easy. The tough part is in recognizing that for this question, in that context, this is the way to open data. And you have to consciously revise, when you are revising you should say, okay, Okay, this happens, I need to keep this in mind. If this template question comes, I need to keep this in mind. I have questions in this form, in pipes and systems, work and time, I'll assume total work as some 300 units and then solve from there. That method helps me solve this that little bit quicker, better. So when you're revising quant, one is to write down formulae, HCF, LCM, formula, number of factors, all of that. Another is to say, okay, in this template, this has got to my thought, be, be my thought process. So if I see this, I should straight away my brain should gravitate towards that. That idea, super important. So revise with that fund in mind. Okay. That's which okay.